It's been a few days since I'm considered alone. Alone to the point where I'm just a guy of nothing of importance, nothing of value. Yeah. This is the life of just being me. The guy who had a girl he loved, now alone since she's dead to me. Hey man, you okay there? A strange voice calls to me. I don't know this person. I just snap back into reality and see a mysterious stranger sit down beside me. Then... It sounds familiar. I generally say with my drunken voice, Yeah, I'm fine. Just a bit under the weather as usual. I softly drink a bit of my sorrow from the glass, ever so cling on to. And life is just like this place. It's all quiet. Nothing too special to remember by it. Just this bar. Bar of a strange service. Known for its reputation for serving memories of the past. <laughs> right. I can barely remember my own. So you are... I stopped the stranger from even saying my name. In a place where I have no importance. Or leaving an impression onto it. Don't say my name. I'd rather not have this place soiled with my name than what I already have corrupted myself with. Say if a tight, slight, deep slurring tone. Just enough to hear, but enough to fill the sorrow. Okay, I won't ever say your name, mister. You can call me stranger to your liking. I ain't never been a person to talk about either. A stranger smoothly talks to me. I never knew this person, but it feels like I know the person. Maybe I do, or maybe I don't. But I'm just too drunkenly stupid to give a shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever, kiddo. Listen, advice for you. If you're going to talk philosophical to me and shit, don't, don't even try. You're wasting your time on a pointless shit like me. I drink the rest of my glass and slam it on the counter side. Tapping the side of the where the solid bill placed beside it. The bartender calmly refills my drink with ease and resumes back to waiting. A stranger asks for a drink also, similar to my drink, and proceeds to talk to me. Hey, ever felt like the world is dead? Uh, I'm not saying you're dead, but... You ever get the feeling the world is against you? I... I've been here all my life. Also, I never got to experience the world. Well, I've been here as long as you. He sits there, looking at the mirror in front of us. Talk to me from the reverse image and casually drinking the night down. Just us two, acting like drinking pals. <sighs> You're talking to me like you know me for years. If you do know me, tell me when I probably never know. <laughs> I take a big swig of the drink before he answers. I heard your lover is gone from your existence. I stopped. No doubt about those. Those words make me choke and twist inside. Like a dagger. Twisted. Straight into the heart. I set my glass down calm as I could. But I was already shaking. But looking at the mirror like I was already dead. I turned slightly to look at his mirror itself. Right. She's been gone for ten years. She died to me in front of my face. Screaming my name to have mercy. To give her love and compassion. I couldn't do that. I couldn't even tell her I loved her anymore, not after. I started to choke up inside, a voice softly cracking. It's pitiful, seeing me sobbing a wet story away, trying to hold myself together. I wipe my face from the dropped tears of my pitiful self. I get myself together and take another drink from the glass. Gather my strength or whatever's left in me, and just looked at the stranger once more. 
After what happened and what I did, I I cheated on her so many times and hid myself from the deadly lies. These fucking bullshit I told her. I slammed the counter and a glass jumping from the force I slammed with. It's not fucking fair to me that I lied to her. I cheated, right? <sighs> Let my own fear of sin take over me. <laughs> my words mean nothing to her death to me. I started to pant and heavily choke up. The stranger sits closer, reassuring me of its hand on my back. Gently sighing and sound like he knows me too well. I exactly know what you're going through. She was your dream gal. Best personality you wanted. Body of an angel. The voice of a goddess in your head. Her touch soft as silk. Kiss as warm as a summer sun. Sweet cur as round as the berry you sweetly tasted. You had all this tell women a bitter nature. Well, guessing is she's probably so damn funny and probably dropped the girl when the bark at the alley. <laughs> I smiled, looked at the stranger. He's wearing nothing but more in the suit and the hat. Even gloves, boots, everything. All black. Everything's so dark in here. You can't even see light under his head. Even the lowly hair and brow. Not even under his hat and suit. Exactly. But now she's gone. Left me for good. Let her run this world even longer forever, even in the afterworld. I drink my glass empty. I wave the bartender to stop. He slowly takes the bill that was under the drink, and I just sit there. Not wanting to tell my short story. Not so I can just sleep back home. When my deathbed awaits for me. Every night and day. I'll tell you this. I sit to turn to look at the stranger in the eye. The girl that I loved. Her name was already... I guess you already know. She was my main reason to live. I cry every night knowing that she's gone from my life. The only memory I have left is me drinking. Drowning in sin, I guess. I'm always cursing and screaming my name to stop, just to die. To let me rot in my own hell. I swear, every drink. I feel like she's telling me just to die quicker. Pretend she's telling me to be alright after. I can't figure out the words. I lied to her. I broke her heart. I killed her. Her fucking only reason to stay with me. Now. That was the only reason that made her live with me. I even felt that. If she was there to say this, she'd probably call me a fucking liar. <laughs> a player. A fool to lust. A worthless shit of it life that he would call human to me. <laughs> I even pay you to kill me. I sit there, smiling. Smugly. Don't even know why. It's how he told my story to this stranger, and yet. It relates to me. The stranger looks directly at me. And I hear a soft laugh of a familiar voice. It's so familiar. My hopes got high, but I dropped it immediately after I took one last drink. It starts to lift its hat slightly. All I can see was a smile. Well, tell me, stranger. You wanna live life once more, or you wanna die in this agony of a nightmarish dream forever? Either way, you're both dead in the end. I smile, annoying my answer. I need to swallow whatever pride I have left. 
<laughs> I died to see her one last time. And die with her. The stranger lifted its hat. Amazingly, to surprise, it was my lover ten years after her death. She smiles and looks at me to say, Till death do us part. Now.